بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we are discussing a subtopic of chapter four of this book post Islamic psychology a transcendent model to achieve peace, happiness and success in the 21st century and today I'm going to discuss about the concept of good and evil eh? some ideas of how conditioning and the loss of learning affect our uh, worldview in terms of what we define as good and what we define as evil uh, because now is, is, uh, we are getting into a, a in the 21st century we are getting into a situation where everything is relative uh, there is no such thing as good, there is no such thing as evil and as, as a result, this hedonistic idea is being played out you can do what you want, whether it is against the law of nature or whether it is against society and so on as long as I do my own thing, uh, I don't think so, it's evil and so on so this relat relativism is going to cause a lot of problems in the 21st century and this is manifested in a lot of uh, evil that is being uh, develop uh, in a way that is uh, insidious and will affect the future of civilization. So how are we going to define uh, understanding that holistic human behavior is essentially good because Allah gives us the essential nature of goodness. In Islam we are not born bad, evil, uh, we are not born sinners, we are born good. We have this fitra, this innate nature of goodness that we must manifest in our uh, life throughout the this throughout this physical uh, life in this physical dimension, but there are definitely evil. So how are we not going to be influenced by evil? So this concept is always related to the loss of learning eh, and conditioning, in which, as I mentioned in chapter four, we are talking about how we are going to positively condition ourselves towards goodness and avoid evil. Eh? So I'm going to read some idea which is uh, written in our subtopic here, the concept of good and evil. Good and evil, as I use the words, are not subjective and emotional terms. They have definite objective meaning. Good aids towards progress toward our ultimate goal of perfection. That means good brings us towards our perfection, towards being the uh, sincere and ser sincere servant of Allah as his caliph on this earth and progressing towards an al insanul kamil, towards our uh, natural uh, desire to be perfecting ourselves in this world and achieving perfection wherever is possible. Eh? And evil hinders our progress towards that goal. If generous reward hinders our progress towards perfect free will, then by definition it is evil. So if we are rewarded for doing evil things, then it will be manifested in the societal worldview. That's why, for example, if in the 21st century we are rewarded for consumption. So our whole civilizational Worldview is consume, consume, consume. I shop, therefore I am. So we are creating a situation which is actually if this consumption pattern go exponent exponentially, as we consume more and more, definitely there will be an end point. The end point will be the destruction of this planet Earth, and the end point will be the destruction of 21st century or 22nd century civilization, which is not that far off. Another hundred years or two hundred years, we will consume everything that can be consumed. So. That kind of idea is evil, but we must find a balance. We are not saying that we cannot have food. Yes, we can have food, but we should not waste. Uh, we, can, we, 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 we also need to use energy, but we should not consume energy to the extent that we destroy our planet Earth and so on. So there are these ideas that are ideally uh, suited for us to understand that good and evil, there are definitive consequences. Eh? So the worldview of consumption today of economic growth endlessly is fatally very flawed and will cause our own demise. Well, my feelings towards evil is always, always objective. In my view, the greater the harm it causes, the more sad I would feel about it. So if there is more harm in terms of whatever evil that is being uh, happening, in terms of oppression, in terms of injustice, in terms of uh, uh, poverty in terms of uh, many many aspects of human life where uh, the basic needs of uh, human existence is not being fulfilled hunger uh, refugees uh, and so on up to right up to murder killing uh, mass extermination and you, you can name it all right 
But evil does not make angry. I don't hate evil. I do not hate anything. And I almost never feel angry. Just as I attempt to live in harmony with the world around me, I attempt to attain harmony within myself. Hate and anger cause harmony to be lost. We are all born with the potential to feel hate and anger. So we are born with the potential to, be, to have hate, uh, to have anger. So what we can do is, uh, as Rasulullah tells us, to, uh, not to be overwhelmed by anger. Because the one in one of the hadith where Rasulullah tells us that you are not strong if you, you, know, if you, are, you can express your anger. You are strong if you can overcome your anger. You are not strong if you are a wrestler that controls somebody. But you are strong if you can control your anger. All right? The same thing uh, in Islam. The whole idea of hate is, is not uh, fitra. Fitra is love, tender, loving kindness, not hate. Eh? Whether or not we express that potential is determined by our conditioning through the interaction we experience with our environment. So what is happening is the expression of hate and anger are not natural to our fitra as being the caliph of Allah. So in an Islamic perspective, we should reduce hate and anger to the extent possible and use the positive approach in terms of uh, our Iman, Islam and Ihsan to change ourselves. Eh? Similarly, my view towards good is also objective because I feel the greater the benefit you'll bring, the better I feel about it. I do love goodness and goodness does make me happy because the more love and happiness within, the greater the experience of inner harmony. So our role as being the Caliph of Allah is to create inner harmony for ourselves our family, our society, and the whole consciousness, universal consciousness of as our exists within this physical world. Eh? So this inner harmony is something that we should strive for, and this is the basis of goodness, and that is what we should make uh, effort to. I think to experience love and feel happy is a natural human condition. So what we do is try to bring this natural condition of happiness and love. We are progressing towards a perfect and absolute expression of all positive characteristics. Hate and anger cannot be perfectly absolutely manifested without being infinitely destructive. Love and happiness can be perfectly and absolutely manifested, bringing infinite benefits. That which cannot be perfectly manifested is unnatural, and that which is perfectly manifested is natural. So, anyway, I certainly glad, I'm certainly glad there's no limit to love and happiness when in harmony the physical universe is a beautiful place. So our role is to make this physical universe good. That's why in our chapter 3 on being the Caliph of Allah, we stress that our whole role living on this world, following this deen on Islam is a deen that is natural, deen al fitrah. This fitrah is talking about how we can recreate this goodness on this earth, even though there are evil, there is a balance between how we are going to overcome this evil and create a wonderful uh, human life on this earth uh, as a precursor to the Jannah that Allah promised us. So what we do is we strive to create our own little Jannah. Our own little Jannah within our internal self at our spiritual, emotional, mental and physical level. Our own internal Jannah to create a happy and harmonious loving family. And our own little Jannah to create a society. And finally, this whole global worldview of goodness that we all aspire as Muslims. That is the role of we as Muslims on this earth. And inshallah, we manifested that. We manifest that. We would then bring about a lot of human, human beings, the whole seas of humanity, to Islam as a positive, loving, caring religion. Always striving to make ourselves good, helping others to be good, and making the world good, inshallah. <laughs>